So whenever there's a holiday on the horizon, we love a visit from our friend decorating guru, Jennifer Houghton. Recently, um, we sent her to meet a couple in Dallas, yeah, Texas, um, who couldn't see eye to eye on their Halloween decor, which happens in relationships. Um, they each thought their own ideas were perfect and their partner's ideas not so much. Uh, Jennifer's mission was to combine the pair's sensibility and make them both love their space through this season. Uh, so check this out. Today we're gonna be meeting Brendan and Tim and their two children, and we are gonna be making their decorating dreams come true. I'm yes. Brendan. I'm Tim. I'm nice Jennifer. to meet you. So nice, nice to meet you. Hi Jennifer. Every fall, Brendan takes Halloween over the top. He's always over here wanting his like fall, and I want like as Halloween. Like fall leaves, yes. like yes. scarecrows. I would genuinely love to be able to combine what he wants with what I think looks better. I absolutely love Brendan and Tim. I don't see your fall stuff. Yeah, because you kept it in the attic because it's not allowed to come I out. I mean, that is kind of true, actually. <laughs> So let me get this straight. We want two completely different themes, autumn vibes, and then we want totally crazy, amazing, oh, colorful Halloween. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> okay. We've got to figure out how we can make both those looks and feels come together and have it look cohesive. Okay, this is my idea. We'll do a layered effect. Probably most everything in the background will be fall, okay. and the layered on top would be more of the Halloween look. So when they're up together, it's called Falloween. Gotcha. And then we take out the Oween, fall is left. We have kicked Brendan and Tim, Zach and Zoe out of their house, and it is time to start decorating. If I can have everything over here, then that can be where we go shopping. Steve, I think it's too tall. Okay, it's in. Brendan would love it if we could prop up our skeleton right over there on that little corner. I think we can do it. If you attach right yeah. there to right there, he'll stay up. Okay, okay, okay. okay. There's only an hour and a half left, so we are moving inside. We have got to get this thing done. It's time for the reveal. Blindfolds off. Three, two, one. Oh my, oh, my oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! This is what that. we call following. Oh my god! Wow! Yeah. This is why I do what I do. I love it. <laughs> do I you love, love it? it? Oh my god! I love it. The reaction and the look in their eyes. Did we marry wow. the two? You yes. Beyond. Yes. Beyond. Well, so you can just take out the Halloween and left with fall. Look at the big pumpkin. We've got fall pieces over here, but then we've got spiders hanging down. Nothing makes you more excited as a father than to see that light in your kid's eyes when they know that this is, uh, you know, something really special and something I know that they're going to remember for the rest of their lives. Megan, oh, McKenna, Ernie. So nice to yeah, meet you. Yeah, you look so you great. Too. And with your little acting on the way out. Okay, I see you. Um, well, you you must come across a lot of families who can't agree on how to decorate for a holiday, right? Oh, like all the time. Yeah. Well, we have we have Brendan and Tim in our audience. Um, give it up for Brendan and Tim, y'all. Yeah. Hi. So. Um, nice costumes, by the way. I love your work. Um, so how are you and the, and the kids enjoying all the decor? Well, I personally loved everything that you did. So I thank you, Kelly, for bringing her into our life and helping combine oh. everything. Wait, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> um, really, it's, we're hard to please. I'll be the first to tell you that. So they Jennifer are. had a challenge ahead of her. <laughs> and, but coming in, the, the, the pumpkin when you enter the house, uh, I loved, and the vines and how they look like it fed this huge pumpkin before you <laughs> enter our house. The best thing was my kids, and their reaction was really the, something I'll treasure and, and, and hold true to my heart forever because uh, it was really cool to see their reaction and just, they love the holiday, 
and uh, and I love Brendan, and so it was a lot for um, you know me to uh, compromise on some of these things, but. Uh, Jennifer did an excellent job in meeting us in the middle. And in the amount of time she had, I mean, it was like <laughs> no time at all. So it was tight. thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but, well, you have one more tip for anyone wanting to bring the fall feel into their homes, right? Yes, I absolutely do. So leaves, I think, are the quickest and the easiest way. So if you don't even want to decorate, just either, if you live in a place that has leaves outside, go outside with your kids, go on a walk yeah. and grab leaves and just sprinkle them on your tabletops or whatever and just oh. bring that fall look inside. If you don't have beautiful leaves, Dallas doesn't often have a lot of beautiful leaves. Yeah. So I go to the gro grocery store or a craft store and I'll buy leaves and yeah. I just I either pull them off a garland or whatever and I sprinkle it on my tabletops and it just makes it feel like it's fall all of a I, sudden. And yeah. your kids love it and they throw them in the air and it's just a, it's a great thing, but I love the fact that it is about the kids because we forget. Yeah, yeah it's fun yeah. and it's creative and it kind of just sparks their, their interest, their minds in like different directions. It's, it's cool.